my dearies, your girl Brittany here, and I am here today to kind of do a unboxing slash project share of some things from Coco Rosa Studio Dyes that I had received. Um, I have done a collab with them a while back, and so I am happy to do this again with them. I do have a coupon code for you guys to use so you can save a good amount of money on your purchase, and they have sales and deals all the time too so you can get more bang for your buck which is absolutely awesome so make sure you open up the description down below so you can check out the details of the dies that i'm going to show you today and also take advantage of that coupon code so without further ado so this first one here i have this is a cute little flower border die now i did cut this out and um as you can see i was lazy and i still left the impression in there <laughs> but um it it didn't work for what I was trying to do, so I don't have that example. But all it, I mean, just like how it does, like I, um, I actually had cut two of them out. One I had it for an example, and then the other one I was going to use on the project. But then it grew legs and walked away. And then it didn't work for what I was going to try to use it for. Um, and um, I had already done a few cards and you guys know cards give me anxiety <laughs> so I didn't want to make another card but this one is extremely cute um maybe I'll even pop up an example up here of what they have on their site so you can see how that looks on that one so there is that so the next one that I have is oops stuck that is this cute little treat bag here. So you do cut this out twice. It has this little window opening for, um, you can leave it open or you can add like acetate or anything on there. I just think that this one is super adorable and I do have this one cut out and this is what she looks like. Adorbs! Isn't she cute? So this is using the Full Bloom collection. I did cut out another piece to layer these little flowers which was a huge pain in the butt. I don't suggest doing that. <laughs> but, um, and then I just added some stickles on there because I used plain white cardstock and I didn't want it to just be plain boring white cardstock. And then I used some pieces from the actual collection to help decorate it. Now with this one, I did add a floral uh, vellum piece in the window portions. You can see it better on this side. I um, Depends on what you plan on using it for. I would make the suggestion of possibly using it. And then like here, I have it tied up. Right now, I actually utilize the holes for my little tie there, but you can use this to like do candies here. I have like a little trinket bag of beads, buttons, and gems. And so um, I can go ahead and apply that here on the inside. So it's just like a cute little way of housing and gifting some trinkets or you can use socks or something like that too that would be a really fun idea for this so that is what i did with that one so stinking cute um the next one i have here is this little teacup one with flowers now i will say that i kind of misinterpreted what i th thought about. at first i thought it was a bag topper and there was examples of course um on the site but i was thinking it was a bag topper so it really wasn't what i thought it was um i will say personally for me it was hard to play with i do want to i always want to be able to show you guys how the things look um, initially or what it's initially supposed to look like be before I start playing around with things and manipulating it to do something else but um this is what I came up with with that so I had cut the flowers out and layered them um in different ways I added some jewels here on um, oh no that one has a mind of its own easy fix watch this boop all right, so <laughs> added some little jimmies on the side here. Again, this is using the Full Bloom collection. It says spring has sprung. And then here's just the back here. And um, it doesn't have any matting pieces that come with it. So I cut it out multiple times and cut it up to mat on the pieces. And then I added the little oval piece that comes in here. So you can utilize it as a card. And then write a little message on the inside there if you want. Um, this is about... Um, three by three note card size of course probably minus the hanging out flowers but um this totally could be um you could cut this up quite a few times to make 
a set of like three by three ish size note cards so that is what i did with that one <clears throat> This next one here is this cute little teeny tiny. This thing is so itty weedy weedy. And I have different like market cart dies um, from various companies. And you know, I have one that is like really big. I have one that's about regular, you know, palm size. But then I was like, oh, I definitely need a mini. And I love it. It's so adorable. So I just did quick note cards with these. And so here is the first one that I did. So this one I had popped up on Dimension and I added some flower buttons on the um, behind it. And then on top it says pretty as can be added a little butterfly, um, a little bow on there. And I added some nouveau drops on the side of the card and it just opens up like so. So and like I said, like this is itty bitty. It fits perfectly within to do a three by three note card. And then this one here, I let this one. Um, I did not pop this one up on dimension, but I did utilize the same products as well. So this one says hello with the flower buttons and thread and then the ribbon. And then this one flips open as such so i really really like this one i think this one's just so sick and adorable um i have some other ideas of using this die it's just so stinking cute i just wanted to come up with something quick to show it off for you guys there so so adorable all right the next one i have is this other treat bag it comes with these like shooting star pieces now i did not use these shooting stars but i did of course cut out the bag you do have to cut it out twice to be able to form the whole bag and this is what I came up with. Adorable. Again, it has that open window here, so you can leave it open. Add acetate. Again, I went with the um, floral venom. And I added a Velcro dot for the closure as well, because what I'm going to use it for, I wanted it to be nice and easy open. So this is what we have here. And then I kind of did like some faux ribbon tie in the back. Um, and then... I added a fun little tab at the top and did some decorating from the collection. But I think this turned out super cute. But I do really, really love, again, this is something that you could add some fun treats to. You could add, like, stock socks or um, edible type treats or anything like that. I just think this is really cute. Really, really love that one. And then last but not least, I have this one here. This one's, like, all cut up and all sorts of things. <laughs> This is so adorable. It's um, a little bunny rabbit, right? So you have like the bunny rabbit and then you have this little this little paws and it's like it's hovering over like something. So these are like eggs. It also comes with these mushrooms. We have little carrot pieces and so forth. I did cut out some of the, um, the bigger mushrooms. I haven't played with it yet, but I, I was going to use them, but then I changed my mind of what I was going to make but i at least wanted to show you how adorable these little mushrooms are aren't those stinking cute and so um that's what i did with that so i created like this little postcard isn't she adorbs and you guys know cards give me anxiety but i do try my best it took me a very very long time to figure this out <laughs> um so what i did was i had used the bigger portion of the egg and i had cut that out and then it leaves like um an off like a little inset offset thing whatever you want to call it so i put that on the base and then i popped this whole piece up on dimension so that way you can still see like the egg portion and then i added some uh, um crystals and some sprinklets from buttons galore and more on the inside there as well and it's all within the shape of the egg and it's like really super cute and then this little smaller egg portion here i added it here right in front of the shaker piece and then we have the little bunny i did it in foam and then i backed up the ears portion onto cardstock so then that way we have like the you know the pink insides of the bunny and then here's this little paw so it's like it's peeking over the egg to say hey boo what's up and then i just added some flowers there and some crystals and it says spring has sprung and again it's just kind of like a postcard type ordeal this is a four by six initially and i think that this has turned out so stinking cute so that's pretty much like the impression 
of what that does i mean you can manipulate this and do it in many different ways so um this is so stinking cute again i will have everything linked down below for you in the description box so in case that you are interested in what i have or if you want to take a look at anything else that they may have on their shop i do i will have that link for you as well as well as a discount code for you guys to go ahead and save money on your purchase so thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed the little projects that i showed you and the things that i had chosen for this time around thank you coco rosa for um wanting me back again this time around i greatly appreciate it and i greatly appreciate each and every one of you so with that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next video bye